The Break is presented by Browning Trail Cameras. You've got to see this. Closed captioning is brought to you by Antler Extreme Nutritional Deer Products. This week on The Break. Indiana is the place to be this week on The Break, and Jason Miles is the man with the plan. I'm pretty sure I just put the hammer on him with the killer instinct. For a northern Michigan boy to come down here, this is, this is what dreams are made of. Indiana is a hot spot for whitetail hunting and definitely one of the best states to hunt deer in the Midwest. Jason Miles is one of our team members from Indiana and if you've watched previous episodes of The Break, you may know that Jason has become known for what we call Miles' Law, which is something will always go wrong when videoing his hunts. I just had a giant come in and I think I just smoked him. Pretty sure I heard him go down. I was trying to get the camera set up and get it on. And I just couldn't pass this deer up. I don't, I don't know what to say, except uh, I'm sorry I didn't get the deer coming in, folks. But I must admit, Jason started off 2016 pretty well, videoing his son Hunter on an early season youth hunt. Well, good morning. It's opening morning of Indiana's youth deer season. It's the last weekend of September 2016. I'm here with my son Hunter. We're in southern Indiana, sitting in a blind. We came back here and set this Alps blind up. There's kind of a low acorn grove back through here. Some white oaks, a few red oaks scattered around. Um, this honestly wasn't our initial thought from where we were going to set up. We've got some soybean fields where we've had some deer coming out every day for two months. And uh, now that the acorns have dropped, they've really slowed down. So we're moving back here in the woods for a morning hunt. Give that a try, and uh, if that doesn't work out, we're going back to the soybean fields for this evening. Stay tuned. You're watching the break. season and she kind of was running our game plan. She came in, got close to the blind and we startled her this morning early before daylight and she wouldn't quit blowing. She was a lone doe, didn't have any phones with her so probably wasn't in her best interest to come in and hang around and keep blowing like that. So We're going to go out and see what happens, see if we got her and uh, get ready, get her out of here so we can get ready for this evening's hunt. We're really hoping that one of the deer we've been getting on camera is coming back to the beans this evening. So we're going to get this wrapped up, taken care of, and hopefully get back out this evening and get a shot at a buck. Hold on, wait till he turns. There 
go. Dead on him, Buck. What the heck? If that ain't dead on, I don't know what is. Uh, well, I don't know what happened there. So here's a lesson for all of us. Hunter had the barrel of the gun resting on the window of the blind, not the forearm of the stock. It's a free floating barrel, so by resting the barrel on the window, it throws off the accuracy. Bye bye, Buck. What the heck? If that ain't dead on, I don't know what is. For as long as I can remember, the Browning name has meant something to people in the outdoors. So when I went looking for a trail camera that I could depend on, there was only one name that came to mind, Browning Trail Cameras. So if you're looking for a trail camera that's easy to use, is unbelievably reliable, and takes amazing pictures and videos, there's only one brand that I trust, Browning Trail Cameras. Browning Speed combines advanced fabrics, tailored fit, and innovative camouflage. Hunt harder, faster, and stronger than ever. Speed Killer Clothing. This segment is brought to you by Indian Creek Shooting Systems. Indiana is the place to be this week on the break, and Jason Miles is the man with the plan. Jason's son, Hunter, already filled his doe tag on the opening morning of youth season. Good way to start the season off. I couldn't be more happy here with my son, Hunter. If you've been watching the show long, you know he uh, he's probably more of a hunter than I am. But And surprisingly, Jason got it all on camera. But now he's self-videoing. Something's bound to go wrong. All right, folks. It's October 27th. We're up here for an evening night in southern Indiana. It's been a rough season so far. I haven't really been seeing a whole lot, but uh, we're hoping the activity really picks up. We're gonna try some grunting, try some rattling. Well, it's another squirrel. We've seen plenty of those this season, but uh, gonna get the late start. It's already about quarter after five. We're just getting set up, so it's gonna be a quick hunt. But this time of year, you never know, so we're gonna stick it out and see what happens. If that doesn't work, we got three days of straight hunt coming, so hopefully we can make something happen here.
might call that buck the redemption buck if I actually got him over there because uh, I've had a hard time getting deer killed on film. I'm not going to lie. It's been rough. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to give him a little bit here. We'll get down and go check it out. There he is, folks. My southern Indiana buck. My Indiana buck tag is punched. And it couldn't be more appropriate. I've got my buddy Jim Easton in from Pennsylvania. He's actually running the camera for me right now. He helped me on this recovery. Uh, Jim has hunted with me several times. And I don't know if you can see this or not. But last year, Jim gave me a little something. Okay. And uh, it's just a little good luck charm. And to be honest with you, I pulled it out, stuck it in my pocket tonight, and it paid off. It's a Christian metal. This buck came in, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I was kinda in awe and I was just filming, and then I realized, hey, I've got my killer instinct hanging next to me, and uh, he's at 15 yards, so uh, things changed pretty quick, and I decided to take him. And like I say, he is a really cool buck. He's a mature buck. The body on this thing is huge. Got good mass, really cool curl on his rack. I'm just tickled to death. And Jim, thanks for coming and running the camera for me a little bit. And uh, I'm going to owe him a little bit more after we get done dragging this big thing up this hill. But y'all stay tuned. You're watching the break. I'm Jason Miles, and it's Southern Indiana, and this is the way we do it. Our veterans and those currently serving have selflessly volunteered for duty and risk their lives for the benefit of all Americans. With this in mind, the Neistat Foundation was established to show gratitude for these individuals by providing the opportunity to participate in unbelievable outdoor experiences. Each event we organize is strongly rooted in our four guiding principles, respect, integrity, connecting individuals, and empowerment. Visit Neistat.org to discover how you can create a brighter America for those who have sacrificed so much. Jason Miles is deer hunting in his home state of Indiana with his son Hunter and even found a little time to fill his own tag. There he is, folks. My southern Indiana buck, my Indiana buck tag is punched. When I say Jason had to find time to fill his own tag, it's because he spends more time taking others deer hunting than actually hunting himself. He also co-hosts a veterans event in early November in Indiana, and several of our team hunters travel up to help out with the event. We're here at our 2016 veterans hunt. We've got 22 veterans, all of them wounded, a lot of them in wheelchairs. And we've got a lot of guys here that's made this happen. We've got, I think, eight of our camera guys from the break that have showed up. Everybody's eating lunch or supper now. It's been a long day, as you can tell, but we're all eating supper now. We're gonna wrap that up. We're gonna give some stuff away. We're gonna meet back here at four o'clock in the morning for breakfast. And then we're gonna hope, hopefully go out and stick some deer in the morning. Y'all stick with us, we'll see what happens. I'm really happy to see so many of our team members up there to help with the event. It's early November. It's just getting into prime time for deer hunting. And our guys are up there lending a helping hand to our country's veterans who deserve every bit of it. So all the guys just kind of teamed up with different veterans and they all went to their separate blinds. I think everyone saw deer, but only one of them had deer in bow range.
heard Todd say he saw a buck. He watched his doe go down. He still has a buck tag in his pocket. Might as well sit it out. Well, obviously not the shot you hope for you try to make. Unfortunately, things just don't always happen the way you envision. With that shot, you can only hope you cut the femoral artery and he bleeds out. I can't believe I doubled up with his bow, man. I never thought I'd cut the deer bow in the same stand same morning. Apparently this is a small deer, but this is a bruiser where I'm from, right? This dude's heavy. Uh, I don't know, man. I couldn't be more happy. You know, I was happy to shoot a doe, you know what I mean? Much less double up the same morning. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just ecstatic, man. I mean, it's, it's one of those deals like you never think anybody's going to take you hunting. You know, you think it's awesome, but, you know, it happens. It's freaking, it's awesome, man. It's crazy. And on film, too, you know? So, I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped. I could be more thankful to the National Wild Turkey Federation and uh, all these guys putting up their own property, you know, and giving up their own time, you know, it's Saturday. They could, and it's the first cold front of the season. They all could be in the woods hunting, you know, they're out here carting me around, shooting deer. So Wouldn't have it any other way. It's awesome, man. I'm pumped. That's what hunting should be about, camaraderie with friends and other hunters. Jason, he's all about that, and he's got more friends coming into Indiana here shortly. <laughs> Banks Outdoors is the place that connects family. Oh my God. Thank you. Yeah. That was unreal. This is the place that connects friends. Yeah, bro. bro, you did it. What a phenomenal story. This is the place that brings excitement. <laughs> Three, bro. <laughs> Most importantly, <laughs> this is the place where memories are made. Buddy. Dad, I will never forget this moment. Why, buddy? Neither will I. Why do I shoot in Indian Creek? He's dead in a hammer. Indian Creek, once again. Break is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. So far in this episode, Jason Miles has punched his own tag, helped his son Hunter fill a doe tag, hosted a veterans deer hunting event, and now has more friends coming to Indiana to hunt with him. Cliff Enzer and Craig Anderson from Hawk and Killer Instinct came in for some November bow hunting, and Craig was able to connect on a great buck. For a northern Michigan boy to come down here, this is this is what dreams are made of for us. Man, I couldn't be more stoked. It's been an honor to have these guys come down here and hunt with us. Jason also has his buddy Rick White coming to Indiana for late muzzleloader season, and right out of the gate, there's a buck. Three and we're back out after him again, and uh, 
yeah, last night uh, I got that shot. We went down, we looked, no blood anywhere. We, we knew right where he went down into the temper. And there's, there's nothing, no sign. We watched the footage back and the best we could tell, uh, it did not look like he got hit. Disappointing, but uh, you know, that's part of hunting. I'm, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, I hurried the shot and he was out there, oh, he's out there about 220 yards, so. But, uh, you know, I've made that shot before. No excuse, just, I just flat out missed. We're back at it, it's colder tonight even more so than it was last night. So I'm just hoping that we see some deer moving this evening. Uh, Brian wasn't able to be with me tonight, but his buddy John's with me tonight, and that might be the combination we're waiting for. So first time in the stand, he and I together. So we're just hoping uh, that we see some deer. We're trying to stay warm. Wish him luck. I wasn't thinking anything was going to happen tonight. It's cold. It's windy. And this deer stepped out of the timber right here. Surprised me. Saw that it was a shooter. Stopped. Squeezed the trigger. And uh, he was probably 170 yards. And uh, he ran all the way to the end of the field. It, it looked like he was hit. Uh, I'm going to give him a little bit of time. We'll slip over and see if we can't find some blood in the field. But I feel pretty good about that one. If I got him, it's my first Indiana buck. <laughs> yes. Look at that, will ya? Man, what a beauty. Third day here in Indiana, and uh, man, what a hunt. You know, I've, I've hunted with Jason for, for several years, and I've always been snake bit, uh, but he made a few phone calls and got me in on this farm, and man, am I glad he did. A special thanks to Brian uh, for letting me hunt. And, uh, you know, he ran the camera last night, and tonight his buddy John ran the camera, and now we've got Jason. It's some thick country in here. Tornado went through a few years ago, and it is not gonna be fun getting him out of here. So I made Jason drag that camera down in here. <laughs> but uh, what a great hunt. Weather got cooler, the deer started moving, they're out feeding. And, uh, you know, this is the same buck that I got a shot at last night. And I'm not really sure how, other than I hurried the shot and he was a little further away, but I missed him. He stepped out tonight, about 180 yards, but I squeezed the trigger. And uh, I knew I hit him. He ran down to the end of the field and came into this, into the timber here. And once we got in the timber, there was lots of blood. It wasn't hard to find him. Right here he is, my first Indiana buck and I couldn't be happier.